He plays. He's in the first eleven. No, he's the first eleven. Yeah, he's in the first eleven. Um, how to play the other game? Yes, I'm going to play the other game. I'm going to play the other game. I would like to say that the other game is better than the other game is better than the other game. We are well prepared, well ready for the game and moreover the weather is good and we will play a good game better than the other game. Thank you. oportunidade boa para reagir sabendo que vamos enfrentar uma, uma equipe forte que é isso que nós sabemos fazer
APF Stadium is where we are for match number seven here of the SAFF Championships of 2013 featuring Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. Today plays for Sujan Luverisinga, the goalkeepers to Randa Bandera, Takara Suma, Mohamed Isadin, Davinda Bandera, Sanjiva Darindu Iranga, 2-1 Rizni, Mohamed Samir, Dananju De Silva and Mohamed Fazal. And for Afghanistan, Bilal Arizu, Sanja Amadi, Maruf Jamur, Mohammad Yusuf, Mustafa Hadid, and uh, we have uh, Fazad Mohaidin, Harun Le Fakhruddin, Ali Ahmad, and Mansoor Le Fagiria. Uh, that is the starting 11th for the Afghanistan team before today's contest. As we are in the Group B, this is the second match day for the teams here in the Group B, headed by the Maldives. The and uh, Afghanistan on three, Bhutan on nil, Sri Lanka nil. Nepal, India, Pakistan and Bangladesh in that condition. order. Right here the on the match at the APF Stadium, it is the starting lineup for Sri Lanka and Afghanistan here in the Group B action of the 2013 SAFF Championships. This is a Group B encounter. Nepal, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan in A. And we have in the Group B the teams Afghanistan, the Maldives, Sri Lanka, and Bhutan. Very well, welcome to the APF Stadium as we continue our coverage of the South Asian Football Federation Championships or the SAFF Championships coming to you from Kathmandu in Nepal. Today we feature Group B action and this is Sri Lanka who will be taking on Afghanistan. Coming into this match in a constructing fashion, Sri Lanka being thrashed by the Maldives in their first outing, Afghanistan beating Bhutan. Two teams on the pitch mixed up the national anthems of the two nations.
Get a start currently lying in the seconds here in the group B. Same number of points as the Maldives, but because of the goal difference, the Maldives having put 10 past Sri Lanka on match day one. Afghanistan beating Bhutan by three goals to nil. Thus, the Maldives having the upper hands here in the group B. Bhutan currently in third, and Sri Lanka right at the bottom. It's a crucial match this for the Sri Lankan side, of course, if they were to have any ambitions of uh, making the latter stages of this tournament. And indeed for the Sri Lankan the team, only seven members of the starting eleven from the one that played the Maldives have been retained for today's match. Of course, Mohamed Imran, the goalkeeper, who was sacked in the 19th minute of the contest. Not uh, playing uh, today, of course, serving out the suspension. His place has uh, gone uh, to the 31 euro, Sujan Verasinga. Well, as for Afghanistan, a much uh, better prospects for them. But they also make four changes to the side that defeated Bhutan. They welcome striker Bilal Arisu, the charismatic and a uh, popular number 10 the player featuring uh, today for the Afghanistani team also they have uh, brought on the uh, Maru Vajamur and the uh, Sanja Amari and along with the goalkeeper who is uh, playing his first game in the tournament today Mansur Fagiria preferred in between the posts to Habidullah Yusufzai Surendra Bandera, the Sri Lankan captain, and Harun Fakhridin of Afghanistan, Sidish Pandey, is uh, today's referee, Abad Nadil, his assistant. Afghanistan head coach, the 51 year old Mohammed Yusuf Kaga. And the coach will be trying to lift the spirits of his team following that 10 0 mauling by the Maldives. The Brazilian Claudio Silveira. Morale in the Sri Lankan camp is certainly. Not the best, and it will be up to Claudio Silvera Roberto to lift their spirits and lift the way they play this contest against Afghanistan. It's not going to be easy for the Sri Lankan team. Later to come in the evening match, Bhutan taking on the Maldives. Bhutan is having uh, been defeated by Afghanistan on the first match day, very much aware of the Maldivian might. But first up, Mr. Pandey, the referee will await the official signal to get the go ahead for the game. We're at the APF Stadium, the smaller of the two venues here for the 2013 South Asian Football Federation Tournament, or the SAFF Tournament for short. more round of measures to go for the teams involved here in the group B that will be on the Friday the 6th of September so 
Tomorrow we'll see the final round of matches in the Group A. And finally, we're underway. Sri Lanka in the yellow strip against Afghanistan. Second outing for the two sides here in the SAFF tournaments of 2013. It's a must-win situation for the Sri Lankans. After having uh, gone down by 10 goals to nil, Pulling the 19th minute sacking of their goalkeeper, Mohamed Imran. Although they did well to restrict the Moldavians to a 3 0 scoreline at half time, but they just caved in in the second half, giving away seven more goals in the way that they approach this match. It's of utmost importance. First field of the ball for Mansur Fakiria, today's goalkeeper for Afghanistan. 27 years of age, Mansur, and the rest of the Afghanistan the team, Ali Ahmad, Harun Fakhrud in the captain, just touching the ball back to Fassad Mahaidin. And we have a Mustafa Atatsoy, Ahmad Hafifi, Mustafa Hadid, Mohammed Yusuf. Maruf Jabur, Sanja Amadi, and Bilal Arizu. First shot there at uh, Sujan Perisinga, the Sri Lankan goalkeeper. 31 years of age. The captain in front of him is Surrender Bandara. And at uh, Raka Silva, Mohamed Isadin, Dorinda Bandara, Sanjiva. Tarindu Iranga, Tuwan Rizni, Mohamed Samir, Danan Juta Silva, and Mohamed Fazal completing the lineup for the Sri Lankan side. Sri Lanka will keep possession. It's away by Mohamed Yusuf, further cleared by Mustafa. Uh, delivery there is outing in the goal kick for Afghanistan. This is the seventh match of the tournament. 20 goals have been scored in the previous six, working out to just over three goals a game. Well, yesterday saw cliffhanger of uh, a match involving uh, Bangladesh and India as well as Pakistan and the host nation Nepal with India and uh, Nepal both the leading stoppage time equalizers. India got theirs through a free kick goal from the captain Sulu Chetri to eke out a 1-1 draw against Bangladesh. And uh, for Nepal, they were given a scare by the Pakistan side right until the very end when the youngster Bibal Maga stepped up and secured a much needed point for the Nepalis who on the first match they had defeated Bangladesh by two goals to nil. Pakistan just narrowly losing to India by one goal to nil in their first contest. So Group A then sees Nepal on top and India in second place. Both teams on four points, Pakistan and Bangladesh with one point each. The injury here for the Afghanistani player. 
Kelly concern for Muhammad Yusuf Kaga. Valuable asset to the team, Mustafa Azatsoy, the goal scorer on the Monday against the Bhutan. Azatsoy, also one of the players booked in that contest. And a totally unnecessary at that. It was a overzealous celebration after scoring his goal. That uh, resulted in him uh, being a uh, yellow carded along with Ahmad Hafifi as well as Mohamed Maruf Jamul who is in the starting 11 for today. Mohamed ja Maruf Jamul who came on as the substitutes in that encounter on Monday. Oh, the glorious opportunity then taken by Maruf after some very fine work from uh, Mohamed Yusuf Masriki. <laughs> Maruf Jamal certainly would be disappointed then with this effort. It was from a close range at that. Should have buried that past Sujan Verasinga to give his side the lead after six minutes. Harun, the captain. <laughs> so Juba loses possession. <laughs> to Raka Silva. Final group matches here in the Group B will involve Afghanistan playing the Maldives. That might settle who finishes first and second in the Group B. As uh, Afghanistan again have an opportunity. Arriving there for the newcomer, Sanja Ahmadi. All just eluding Sanja at the last. So two glorious opportunities spurned by the Afghanistani side. Well, tomorrow in the Group A, the third be the clash involving the home nation, Nepal, as they take on India to decide the positions in the Group A. All the matches kicking off at the same time. Bangladesh taking on the Pakistan as well. Not really out of the running as yet. The two clubs, the two countries, Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh, with one point each. two players who miss glorious opportunities. Sanjay Amadi and uh, Marif Jamur. Following the exit of uh, Mohamed Emran in the match against the Maldives, it was not Sujan Leverisinga who came on as the substitute goalkeeper. Instead, 
Dastun Parana Pitana was the co keeper chosen. So uh, Sujan is the third co keeper used in this tournament for Sri Lanka. As expected, Afghanistan had the better of the exchanges in the opening 10 minutes. Cleverly <laughs> won by Harun of uh, Taraka Silva. Mustafa Hadid. Now challenged there by uh, Tuman Risney. Still in there by Baruf. The captain surrounded Bandara. Wasn't able to keep the ball in play. Mustafa Hadid it will be a Sri Lankan throw. <laughs> Sri Lanka, the champions of the tournaments back in 1995, making their 10th appearance in the SAFF Championship. Starting with a FIFA ranking of 170 against the Afghanistani side, who were ranked 139, the top ranked station amongst the eight here at the start of the competition. Afghanistan's sixth appearance in the tournament, the runners up of 2011. So Maruf gives away a free kick. <laughs> It'll be the youngster, 22 years of age, two one wristing, who takes it. Short is a uh, charge now. By the Prasad. Well, the goalkeeper doesn't uh, get the connection. Fortunately for him, Suranda Bandara was on hand to clear the Sri Lankan captain. Well, when the goalkeeper comes out, you've got to be able to clear the ball away but uh, Sujan Verisenga nearly playing his side into trouble and off the head of Mohamed Samir for the corner to Afghanistan corner of that and it is possession back to the Sri Lankans. Harun. They looked across 
hopefully to the referee's assistant on the far side. But the flag was raised. Ali Ashbak has scored half a dozen of the ten goals for the Maldives against Sri Lanka. Well ahead of the rest of the pack, the scorer's charts. Afghanistan's goal scorers, the captain Harun Fakhruddin, who scored the first. The 3 0 win over Bhutan, followed by Mustafa Atatsoy. And the last goal from uh, Hashmullah. Coach Mohammed Yusuf Kaga giving a, a try out today for the likes of uh, Maruf Jamur, Sanja Ahmadi, Bilal Arizu, as well as the goalkeeper Mansour. Afghanistan, who were pegged back by Bhutan until late in the match. And they scored the two goals to add on to the first half effort from their captain Harun. Took a little time for them to settle down. Lanka, besides the sacking of the goalkeeper, also had two other players booked in the match against the Maldives. Taraka Silva and the Surandra Bandara, the captain. The teams met also in the 2011 tournament. Afghanistan coming away with a 3-1 win. Earlier this year, the AFC Challenge Cup, it was uh, Afghanistan. Only managing to edge out Sri Lanka by one goal to nil in a match played on the 2nd of March. away the ball far too easily. Tarin to Iranga. A very poor free kick of that. Sri Lanka hosted the tournament 1995. Winning it on the home soil. Beating the Indian side by a solitary goal in the final. The first of the two occasions in which India finished runners up. The second was in the 2008 when India fell to the Maldives. Also, just uh, losing by one goal to nil in the final. Sri Lanka were runners up in the inaugural tournament in 1993. It was uh, India who won the, the, the tournament. 1997, Sri Lanka finished fourth in the third, fourth placing, lost to Pakistan. In 
the recent times. We were losing semi-finalists, along with Bhutan in the 2008 tournament and uh, in the 2009 uh, tournament, along with Bangladesh, losing semi-finalists. Harun clears. Now finds Mustafa. Sabinda Bandara. Pulled down by Harun Bakrulid, the Afghan captain. Harun himself clears. Maruf. Still Maruf. Away by Taraka Silva. Into Iranga. Coming across to cover for Saad Mohaidin. After his captured uh, Harun the Fakhrudin, who had ventured up for the previous move, being a caught out of uh, position. Mohammad Izadin takes charge of this throw now for Sri Lanka. To Danju de Silva. And the end too close to Mansour. Mustafa Hadid. Away by Surandra. Mohamed Isadin may be looking for a shot. There's a new teammate inside, so Mohamed Isadin fancying his chance there against Ali Ahmad as well as the keeper Mansour. Oh, it's the second time now we've seen the goalkeeper Sujan Virasinga coming off away his penalty area. Sanjiba. Mighty close that was Sri Lanka. Nearly. Getting uh, the way of the offside trap. Afghanistan could be weary now. Now Harun. Well, the tournament previously known as the South Asian Gold Cup. That was in 1995. Also the have competed under the name of South Asian Association of the Regional Corporation Gold Cup in uh, 1993 before 
who was known as the SAFF in the, the year 2005. Afghanistan's turn to be caught upside the type. Five minutes of football played, and the Sri Lanka really fortunate to be still holding on Afghanistan to a nil-nil score line. There are two chances in the space of three minutes for the Afghanistan team earlier on in the match. Really should have put the game in the favour of the team in red. The chance of it belonging to the man there, number 17, uh, Maruf, and uh, two minutes later on it was his teammate Sanja Amadi, who squandered the opportunity. Well, it is the Afghan side who have been committing the fouls. Nothing as yet for Sri Lanka, but five registered against the Afghans. Will be Danaja de Silva. Well, in the end, Tame and uh, Mansur of Bulgaria launches the ball upfield again, headed away by uh, Bandara, the Sri Lankan skipper. Not quite enough uh, bend there from uh, Danaja de Silva to trouble Mansur. Mohamed Yusuf. Mustafa Atatoy not getting the breaks so far in this match. Ball hits Mohamed Samir, now picked up by Sanjeeva. Well, uh, Harun uh, Fakhruddin, the Afghanistani captain. Well, with his arm raised. Look at him, he was uh, looking uh, hopefully across to the referee's assistance. There were four Sri Lankan players moving in tandem following the release of the ball from Mohamed Isadin. Away by Jovinda. The handball against Mohamed Fazal. Yusuf takes it quickly. Now Harun. Sanja Amadi, 21 years of age, is big and powerful. Skills just letting him down in the last move there. Sri Lanka finished in the third place in the 2011 competition Didn't look, make it to the semi-finals winning one of the three matches and they're losing the other two because the Bhutan who finished at bottom in the group A won by Afghanistan along with India both finished on seven points tight contest two in group B where the Maldives and Nepal both finished with five. India defeated Maldives in the semi-finals. Afghanistan took care of Nepal, one nil after extra time. And in the final, it was India who defeated Afghanistan by four goals to nil to clinch the sixth title.
Claudio Silvera Roberto, the Brazilian coach of Sri Lanka. Mansour came, retreated quickly. Ball cleared by Ali. Surandra to pump the ball back. Mustafa Hadid hoisting it away for a throw to Sri Lanka. Bilal Arizu, who was uh, kept out of the first match due to injury, certainly not fully fit for this tournament, but. He's been uh, brought on uh, today. I don't uh, quite see Bilal Arizu lasting the full distance of the match. <laughs> Their first corner. Samir. So many red shirts guarding the ball back to Mansour. Atatoy. This is Mohamed Youssef. As Harun finds Maruf. The surrender Bandara had to be quick. The Sri Lankan captain against the very speedy Barum Jamur. The clash of the two number 17s. At the expense of a corner. The rebound falling nicely to Sujan. <laughs> the last edition, 44 goals were scored. Over the 15 matches played, working out to just under three goals a match. We have uh, 20 goals already from the six matches before the start of this Group B match. Harut gets away by Taraka. Fassad got it back to Mansour. <laughs> the Sri Lankan side reached 122. Back in August of 1998 for the highest ever FIFA ranking. Currently at 170. They dropped down to their lowest ever at 190 in the December last year. As Ali Ahmad clears promptly and with, with time to spare. Now Fassad. Across to Ali. Picked up here by Mohamed Youssef. Finds the captain, Harun. 
Let's start again. Casual looking ball from Yusuf as Sri Lanka scores. And Afghanistan has been punished by some very poor passing. And it's a goal from Mohamed Fazal. 35 minutes played and Sri Lanka have stunned Afghanistan. Who were really taking it easy in trying to get the ball away from their own area. And Mohamed Fazal kept his cool. It was a brilliant chip past Mansour Bagheria. And look at the way Mohamed Yusuf Dili and Dalit with the ball. And in the end, the header blocked by the winder. The release from Sanjiva and Mohamed Fazal produces a good finish and gets their first goal of the 2013 tournament. That will certainly lift the spirits of the Sri Lankan team. Remember, 10 goals they have conceded on the Monday. And for a change, they've got one against the opponents. And that's Mohamed Fazel. Took it coolly and calmly. Maybe now it will force Afghanistan to play with a little bit more urgency. Try to get the equaliser before the break. But all credit to the Sri Lankan side who have performed diligently with great enthusiasm. Try to erase the poor memories of the match of 48 hours past. It's a corner by Baru and Sujan Beresinga goes on confidently. The goal scorer Gives up the chase. Mansour, now to Ali. Picked up by Fassad. That's a good take from uh, Sujan Gurusinga. Can throw. Sri Lanka, of course, known as the Salon national football team until 1972, when they were renamed the Sri Lanka. Their first ever international was against India. They lost by two goals to nil in Colombo. 1st of January 1952 was the date. And their biggest ever win was a 7-1 win over Pakistan on the 4th of April in 2008. The biggest defeat for the Salon side, as they were known in 1964 against East Germany, 12-1 it finished. It's Afghanistan uh, prevented from taking the free quick of free kick.
comes up Maru. have the first yellow card of the match and it goes to Sanjiva for time wasting <laughs> well, that's another good early ball in and at this time Mustafa Hadid raised there against Tanaju de Silva Falls the commitment then from the Sri Lanka man in the end managing to get the goal kick. Tanaju de Silva realizing Mustafa Hadid was hot on his heels, proceeding then to have a hurried shot. Coming close. They have a corner. Mustafa Ratatoy. Well held in the end by Sujan. Three minutes to go here in the first half. by Sanja getting the throw off to Karasilva Harun perhaps to launch a long throw into the penalty box takes a routine the throw in the end the facade slip there from Ahmad Hapipi Finals confirmed for the 8th and the 9th of September. Group A champions taking on the Group B runners up in the first of the two semi finals. To the Group B winners taking on the Group A runners up the next day. And a week from now, it will be the grand final of the Dasarav Grandasala Stadium in Kathmandu. to Bahabali Yusuf. Ali Jaharud, Ahmad Hafifi, and 
shortly, the fourth official. Well, uh, let us know the time that will be added on for stoppages at the end of the first 45, and there will be two minutes. The stuffer. Away by the window. Picked up by Fassad. As Ali Ahmad finds Harun. Now Maruf. Ahmad. Not just a long ball in the direction of Bilal. Partly featuring in the first half, the Afghanistani striker, Bilal Arezu. Certainly a change at the start of the second half for the Afghanistani sides. Certainly won't be unexpected. There's uh, Sanjiwa, remains down on the ground. Afghanistan have no intention of putting the ball out. They go in hunts of the equaliser before the break. And it is Maruf who gets the throw. There's a 2-1 Risley, in fact, who is still nursing his injured right knee. So the two minutes have been played. <laughs> Mr. Pandey will uh, soon blow for half time as uh, Sujan Verisinga collects the ball, sends it out to Bandera, and there goes the half time whistle. <laughs> Afghanistan starting <laughs> off with two chances in the space of three minutes. But uh, both squandered by Marov and Sanja. And it was Mohamed Fazal who shows how it ought to be done as far as scoring is concerned with his effort in the 35th minute to give Sri Lanka the lead. And there is the man of the moment, Mohamed Fazal. And uh, this could be tie at half time here at the APF Stadium. Sri Lanka holds the lead over Afghanistan going into the break by one goal to nil.
So, six and four of Einstein and Mesh are seen. Decimal nine, Muhammad Yusuf, Matanji, replaced by Decimal six, Muhammad Rabi. Welcome back then to the APF Stadium, the venue of this Group B match in the 2013. South Asian Football Federation Championship. Sri Lanka at the break, leading Afghanistan by one goal to nil. Mohamed Faisal scoring the goal 10 minutes before half time. And it will be Sri Lanka in the yellow strip. So we get the second half going. As the Nepali referee, Mr. Pandey, gets the game on the road. Chances for the Afghan side, both squandered in the opening 10 minutes. Those missed opportunities certainly giving us Sri Lanka the hope and the belief they were so lacking following their 10 0 thrashing by the Maldives on Monday. Managing to come back and score a goal from the Bahamad Fazo following some uh, very poor and the casual defending on the part of the Afghan side. Mohammad Yusuf was the culprit then. Yusuf has paid the price for his error by uh, being uh, substituted by Mohamed Rafi at the start of the second half. No changes in personnel for the Sri Lankan team. One yellow card in the first half that goes to San Chuba, the Sri Lankan midfielder. Just had a two hours' time, the second Group B match. Bhutan and the Maldives. Well, it gets underway. Group A currently led by the host nation, the ball, along with India, both teams on the four points, Pakistan and Bangladesh with one point each, lying in third and the fourth positions respectively. Sanjiba away. Afghan side on route to finishing Relis up in 2011. Won the three of the five games played in the division, only losing the final and drawing the other one. Their overall record in the South Asian Football Federation Championship reads 16 matches played, four wins, three draws, and nine defeats.
started off this year's tournament with the win over Bhutan, currently trailing to Sri Lanka. As it saw his cross and it's cleared off the line. Well, again, what looks at a certain goal. Cleared off there by Saradra. It's turning out to be one of those occasions where the ball just won't go in. In this case, for the Afghan team. Mustafa as a toy Unable then to add on to his goal that he scored against Bhutan, Mustafa Ratatoy. <laughs> Referee wants to have a word with Ahmad Hafifi, who was booked in the first match against uh, Bhutan. It is another yellow card for Ahmad Afifi. Which will rule him out of the final match against the Maldives on Friday. Soy and Baruf Chabu were the other two players booked on Monday against Bhutan and Afghanistan certainly can't afford to lose either of them. This is a Mustafa Ratatoy. They've got to be on their best behavior for the remainder of this match. East corner. The referee flashing the yellow card there to Mohammed Samir. And it's given a penalty here to Afghanistan. Presumably for a push by Mohammed Samir on his opponent and there is certainly not a show of protest by anybody in the Sri Lankan shirt so Afghanistan given a lifeline here with his penalty decision and it will be up to Bilal Arizi to put his pass Sujan and it's a save from Sujan Gurusinga. Well, the horror show for Afghanistan goes on. Well, for a, a player that is really shot on confidence, I just wonder why Bilal Arizu should be the man who stepped up to take the spot kick against Sujan. Certainly was not a good spot kick at all by the Bilal Arizu. 
But uh, Sujan stood up to the task very well indeed. The Sri Lankan goalkeeper. Costly a miss would that be? Over the outgun side, Vilala resume. Oh, that's a, a good shot. Sanchiwa. Testing Mansour. First Sri Lanka attempt here in the second half. The tame effort by the standards below Arizu. Another yellow card flashed. Well, Bilal Arizu has paid the price for his miss. And they've replaced here. Mohamed Senik Walizada. Waiting for confirmation for the yellow card there to Terindu Iranga. And there it is. The third player to be booked. Third Sri Lankan player, that is. to Silver's Cross. As Harun gets the free kick following the duel there with the Tobinda Bandara. Matches for the Afghan side this year, starting from the 2nd of March in the AFC Challenge Cup qualification. Afghanistan defeating uh, Sri Lanka by one goal to nil. Again, it was that man who featured Bilal Arizu who scored the winner. Then in the second. Uh, Challenge Cup qualification tie against uh, Mongolia. Afghanistan uh, defeated the Mongolians by one goal to nil. Again, it was uh, Ali Su. Against uh, Laos, it finished 1-1. There's another Sri Lankan attempt. It's being halted there by Le Fassad. And a couple of friendlies before the tournament proper here. Afghanistan losing to Tajikistan by three goals to two, and then defeating Pakistan in the Kabul by three goals 
to do before their first match against Bhutan on Monday. Goal scorer Mahmoud Fasal. Ali Yapman. Away by Surandra. Throw to be taken here by Mustafa Hadid. Rafi. Mustafa. Sanja was uh, leaving the ball there for Sidi to latch on, but instead it was uh, De Winder Pantera who arrived first to clear the danger. Mustafa. As a toy. Initiating another raid. Ali Ahmad. Well, he'll enlist the help of Mansour. So Harald Fakhruddin secures the corner. Well, it's gone straight in. Well, I don't think there is a touch from a surgeon. Is the substitute Rafi? And the English swigger, perhaps it would be helped on by Sujan Wirasinga, but maybe there was no touch there from the Sri Lankan goalkeeper. Here's another look. Well, Rafi. I think it's a clean uh, sailing to the goal. And uh, Muhammad Rafi it is. And Afghanistan have clawed back the deficit. And it's now 1-1. One, one. Well, that moment certainly left uh, Sujan Verisinga, the Sri Lanka goalkeeper, a little bewildered. It was so hard really to judge the plight of the ball. It was coming uh, straight in, it was taken with great force. Drop marks to Mahat Rafi. Coming at an important juncture, really. 
Just when Afghanistan thought this certainly isn't going to be a day for them as far as uh, goal scoring goes. Sri Lanka have uh, lined up a change here. The goal scorer, Mohamed Fazal, has been uh, replaced by the Mohamed Nafir. Sri Lanka, meanwhile, in the AFC Challenge Cup qualifiers, have lost to Laos 4 to 2 in March before they defeated Mongolia by three goals to nil. Mohamed Yusuf Karaga, the Afghan coach, encouraged now by the, the Turner events as Sanja Ahmadi fails to find Azatoy. Will be Harun. The Afghanistan uh, captain who won the corner, which led to the goal. It's been a real inspiration for the team. Now Mustafa Hadid as a toy. Rafi to Mustafa. To one wrestling. Picked up by Rafi again. Twice won there by the substitute Nafir. They said to win the Bandara. Couldn't quite contain Maruf. Free kick. Goes the way of the Afghans. the start of the tournament as far as the record goes overall for the Sri Lankan team here in the SAFF championships it's uh, 29 the games played 12 won 4 drawn 13 defeats it's a one-handed stop by Sujat The Sri Lankans lost by 10 nils in the Maldives is a record in the history of the championships. Sanjeeva there with the throw. The 
here comes the second change for the Sri Lankan side. Samira Pereira coming up for Davinda Bandara. So both teams have made two changes in personnel. 20 minutes still to play. Ty finally balanced at one goal apiece. Four bookings in all. Three Sri Lankans. And only one Afghan player booked, Ahmad Hafifi. His second booking of the tournament. The stepper as a toy. Nicely by by Sanja. Charged down by Sundra Pandara. Well, that's his uh, last piece of action for the match, Sanja Amadi. Replaced by the Hashpatula Mohammad Jan. Hashpatula, who started out in the last match, was sort of the sides. As uh, Sujan Berisinga watches the ball go away harmlessly. In fact, this is a very strong Afghan lineup coming into the last 20 minutes of play. Pereira loses out to Harut. Now Fazad. back to Mansoor. Well, there is a real belief amongst the Afghan side that it certainly can uh, better the runner-up performance of uh, 2011. Football being uh, the most popular spot in Afghanistan, it's a huge uh, following. Well, should the Afghans not able to carve out a victory here today against uh, Sri Lanka that might go down as an underachievement of sorts. Still the time for them to get things right. It's about 12 minutes to play. Maruf Jamu seems to have lost his footing then, but a free kick has been given to Afghanistan. Taken by Rafi. Well, was uh, Rafi going for the same trick again? I wonder. Well, at that time, Sujan went along with two Afghan players. And it was last touched away by the Sri Lankan goalkeeper. Now for the corner.
Iranga. Okay, okay, okay. Nicely won by Mohammed Samir, now Nafir. And turn gives it away to Mustafa. Ali Ahmed. Hafifi. Another goal. Well, Afghanistan have sent out two quality goals, and this time it is Harun Bakhredi, the captain. Well, the Harun must have observed rather carefully the way that Rafi put the ball past Sujan for the equaliser. Now he has done it on his own accord. As the Afghan captain really shows what a good player he is. Well, again, Sir Bhutan. It was instinct on the part of Harit, stepping the ball home from close range. But he has uh, shown his skills right there. Certainly critical thinking on the part of Harun that uh, produced a goal. That's uh, another look. Took it all the way past Sujan Gurasinga, who has been beaten by two fine goals. From the two Afghan individuals, Rafi and Harun. Maybe that goal from a Harun would have all but ended the resistance of the Sri Lankan team. And Harun hits it back to Mansour. And Mansour kicks the ball out for attention to be accorded to his teammate. Tournament has now witnessed 23 goals in all. And uh, today's lots from the Afghan team 
certainly are two of the best. Afghanistan clinched the points. It will mean they go top momentarily as they await the next contest involving the Maldives, who will, uh, on the paper, be expected to beat Bhutan, the side that were beaten by the Afghans on Monday. Sri Lanka will end their interest in the competition. They play out with the Bhutan on the Friday. In a match which might just be academic, depending on how Bhutan plays later today. As a Sujan prevents a third goal. Pereira gives away the corner. And Muhammad Rafi. Here's the man in charge. That's a toy. And it was the defender facade that arrived then for the corner. Just uh, coming off the top of his head and landing on the, the roof of the Sri Lankan goal. Maruf. Corner number 11. Rafi. Well snatched up by Sujan. Harun getting there ahead of Pereira. Call there on the Benanja de Silva. Tomorrow, Group B will wrap up with matches involving the host nation Nepal in a big clash with India. Bangladesh will uh, take on Pakistan in the second match on Thursday. 2 1 Risney.
Winner Ratner coming up for the final Sri Lankan change. Prize money of 50,000 US dollars will be awarded to the champion team with 25,000 to the runners up. And the semi finalists, the two losing semi finalists, will each walk away with 10,000 US dollars. Sadiq. Ashmatilla was waiting, but Sanchiwa clears it first. Hafifi finds Atatoy. Well, it's a third goal now. And a Sujan Wurasega meets. A mess of it, allowing Hush Matula to plunder the ball in, into an empty net. And Afghanistan a home and dry. Well, that was the bounce of the ball, which you can pass the Sri Lankan defender and the Sujat not helping things. Ball are falling nicely to the substitute Hush Matula. And in it goes for the third Afghan goal with three minutes to play. Hashmatula joins his captain, Harun Afakrudin, on two goals. Both of them amongst the goal scorers as well in that 3 0 win over Bhutan on Monday. Mohamed Izadin. No match there for Mansour, who has been largely confident in goal for the Afghan team today coming on as the preferred choice in place of the 31 year old Hamidullah Yusuf Sai. And Sir Torindu Iranga goes to the bench to register a complaint of sorts. Sanjiba Ali Tarindu Iranga still are looking for a spare man and the keeper comes and collects and uh, brings down the substitute Pereira as well. Afghanistan, six goals scored and one conceded. 
the second outing about to come to a close. Keeper having to react quickly. Very nearly falling nicely then for Sadiq. Sujan making a bends. Going straight there for the later of Mohamed Sadiq before he could stab it goalwards. Into stoppage time we go of three minutes. Sadiq. Ambitious shot there from Hatsbatula. For the moment, when below Arizu missed the penalty for Afghanistan with real concerns that this might turn out to be an upset of sorts and thanks to Rafi who swung in the goal from the corner of the 62nd minute when order was somewhat restored for Afghanistan and then two more clever goals as uh, somewhat right the wrongs that Afghanistan have suffered so far could all have begun on a bright note for them in the first half six minutes was when a Maruf missed what is essentially a sitter and then the two minutes later it was Sanja Amadi who couldn't quite keep his composure Otherwise, Afghanistan would have been two goals to the good inside the opening eight minutes. Delanjo de Silva. And a raised boots. Catching the Afghan the defender. Passard behind it. Time is almost up, seconds away from Mr. Pendy's final whistle. As a toy. Free kick at the edge of the area as Afghanistan attempt to make it go number four. That's all it brought down by Delanjo de Silva, and surely after this attempt, we'll go the final whistle for this contest. Maruf then. And there it is, the final whistle, which means Afghanistan go top of Group B.
at least for the moment. They have six points ahead of the Maldives on the three. The Maldives taking on Bhutan in the just over an hour's time. And the Sri Lanka coming to their second loss of the tournament, remain rooted to the bottom of Group B and are out of contention for a semi-final berth. 3-1, the final result goes from Rafi Harun and Hashmatullah for Afghanistan after Fazal had given Sri Lanka the half-time lead. In the end, comfortable for the Afghans who have uh, taken Group B now. They lead with six points. Final score from the APF Stadium, reading Sri Lanka 1, Afghanistan 3.